This is your local election headquarters. Welcome back to This Week in Louisiana Politics. On Thursday night, President Joe Biden gave his State of the Union address before Congress. Joining us now for some reaction is Representative Garrett Graves. He's a Republican from Louisiana. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Yeah, you bet. Uh, thanks for having me. Great to be back with you. You bet. So we have a lot to talk about, but uh, right out of the gate, I want to get to the border. In fact, President Biden said in his speech, send me the border bill now. Your reaction? Uh, look, it, it, it's so fundamentally out of touch. And, you know, it almost makes me feel like that maybe there really are some dementia issues. You can go back to the previous administration where you had a fraction of the illegal border crossings, a fraction of the fentanyl, a fraction of the human trafficking at the southern border than we have right now. I mean, look, let me put things in perspective. We have had almost double the population of the entire state of Louisiana illegally come across the southern border just during President Biden's time in office. I have gone and I've spoken with I don't know, I'll throw out a number, maybe 80 different border agents in Texas, New Mexico, and California, asking them about their thoughts on border, what we ought to be doing to secure it. Every single one of them said that we need to go back to the policies of the previous administration. And lastly, you want a border bill? We did HR2 back early last year that, that, that President Biden, Senate Democrats have been sitting on since then. Move the bill. You, you, want, a, you want a border bill? Move that one. But the reality is it is administrative actions. It is their own policies that have created this crisis. And the first step is fixing that. Then, then we can talk about legislative strategies, which will help to complement or further secure the southern border. There's been a lot of talk and some criticism that uh, his speech was uh, very divisive. But uh, I think uh, some what Republicans call divisive. I think uh, some Democrats are saying that was his message to his base, saying that he's willing to, to fight against uh, some of the more conservative members of Congress. What do you think? Look, I thought that his speech, um, I thought it was horrible. I, I really did. And I understand the desire to look like a fighter and to come out and try and push back against this narrative that he's too old and, and has dementia. But... Um, I, I thought it was an awful, awful speech and that it was overly divisive. Look, it, it, it's not what I would have, would have advised at all. If, 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 you know, the, where, where are the, the liberal voters going to go? You, this is ultimately going to come down to Biden and Trump. And so what he should have done is he should have tried to bring the nation together, thinking about trying to, to, to pick up some of the independent or moderate votes. And, and all he did was move hard left. I mean, look, look at what's happening to American families across this country today. You've got unaffordable utility bills. We're seeing sky, skyrocketing gas prices. Grocery prices are going through the roof. Interest rates are making car loans and, and, and home mortgages completely unaffordable or out of reach. Why are you doubling and tripling down on the very policies that have brought us all of these awful consequences rather than coming in and trying to actually solve the problem on energy, on border, on inflation, on, on unaffordability? And, and think about what he announced. He announced additional taxes and additional social, wel social welfare programs. That's not the strategy that brought America to the sole superpower to the most powerful economy in the world. That is socialism, and that those are the countries that are in decline today. Why wouldn't you use evidence-based strategies to move in a direction that's actually going to improve the lives of Americans? I thought it was an awful, divisive speech. I think it was one of the. I think it was the worst, the worst State of the Union address uh, that I've heard in my lifetime. Congressman, you know, uh, typically the State of the Union address is used to uh, deal with issues within our border. Were you surprised to hear him talking about uh, Ukraine funding? I, I, I actually was not. Um, I, I think that Ukraine is a, and, and Israel as well, these are really, really important global issues. And, and, and yes, we need to focus, we need to prioritize what's happening within our own borders, like, for example, securing it. But if you start playing out the scenarios of an uncontrolled Vladimir Putin in Europe, uh, taking over Ukraine, going into some of these other NATO countries, Poland, uh, going into uh, uh, Sweden or Finland or Moldova. Um, this actually causes huge, huge consequences to some of our strongest allies over in Europe. Um, you look at what's happening in the Middle East. Israel is the sole 
true democracy, respecting women's rights, respecting human rights. And, and so these are actually really important issues that it may seem like they don't affect the United States. But in reality, if those things spin out of control, it absolutely will affect the United States. It will affect the global economy. It will trigger NATO uh, obligations and things along those lines. And so I'm not surprised that he mentioned them. But the truth is, is that most of these issues were actually self-inflicted, meaning that I think Ukraine could have been over with if the United States had actually played a more deliberate strategy, been more uh, uh, accountable and transparent on the dollars, been more clear on what the objectives were and the milestones to get there. We can't keep shoveling tens of billions of dollars into a bottomless pit over there. There's got to be a strategy. There needs to be an outcome or a goal. And this administration has failed to articulate one. Congressman Garrett Graves, we always appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for coming on. You bet. It was good seeing you again. Thanks. Good to see you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.